Hello, my name is Joy Barnicabut Roberts. I am the head of catalog at the University of Tennessee Libraries in Knoxville, Tennessee. Today I will talk about my work in progress in working with Wikidata to link Al Jazari, the Muslim engineer from the 13th century, to automaton and the history of robotic. Um, I learned about Al Jazari and I worked with a cataloger for special collections at the American University in Cairo Libraries to catalog this book four or five years ago now before I came to work at UT Libraries. And I learned all of this engineering model and the artistic rendering of his elephant water clock that feature on the book cover of Donald Hill's that I show here. For this project, I combine my research interest in STEAM or STEM and ask with my interest in linked data. In my STEAM's knowledge domain analysis, I came across the topic robotics, which linked to uh, earlier works in automata and automaton. I came across the in Scalia, which is a tool in Wikidata to find that Ajisari was not linked to the topic automaton in Wikidata. So I know that I'd like to explore this connection further and the research opportunity came. So I started to work on this project with my goal to link Ajisari to automaton in Wikidata. I found that to improve the linkage of Ajisari to automaton in Wikidata is far more complicated than just adding automaton to Ajisari field of work. I had to link him to his original work and a translation by Donald Hill to justify the field of his expertise. The diagram showed the high level data modeling of these objects I need to bring into and also draw the connection of existing item in Wikidata. So I'm, I'm still working on some of the ideas down at the I highlight below. You can see that this project is quite complicated. I have many items to verify and provide data provenance and references. I reached out to my colleague, Iman Dagger at UCLA for her Arabic expertise. She helped me verify Arabic information and also create a Wikidata item for Ajisari, original manuscript from circa 1906. I had about 54 edits in Wikidata for this project so far. I also reached out to two other colleagues, one at the Library of Congress and one in Pakistan for a publisher's name. I also had to fix some Wikidata elements. The project also covers item across the GLAM or gallery, library, archive, and museum institution. As I reflect on my process working on Wikidata for this project, I'd like to share some of my observations here, that there are different approach from creating cataloging or metadata records. The work are at the object level. The goal is to build relationship among entities and the work process, which for me, I did the sketch or map out the goals that I want to achieve, then create or edit Wikidata based on the goal. Or you can see from my example, for, and I can work across the GLAM or metadata silo as well. So my recommendation, my recommendation is to sketch your ideas and tasks needed inside and outside Wikidata before you work on your project. This is my earlier sketch. In conclusion, Wikidata and Wikibase facilitate equity, diversity, and inclusion in cataloging and metadata. The ontology building in Wikidata is an inductive process with the ability to add, modify, and extend the existing knowledge domain, thus you can diversify its knowledge domains. And Wikidata or Wikibase facilitates collaboration at the record level by allowing multiple contributors to a key item. Thus, facilitate the use of multiple expertise and voices across cultural, linguistic, and geographical boundary and across GLAM organization. So these are my reference and um, I want to acknowledge, to, I want to thank the UT Libraries, the Research Development Academy, and also SWIFT 2020 organizer, and my colleague Iman Dagger at UCLA. And like Audrey, our keynote speaker, I talk about, we are working in semantic web 
or as an internet of being, a shared reality, collaborative learning, human experience, and plurality is here. Danke schön, shukran, kakun ka, thank you.